Explain the relationship between magnetism and electricity. Consider a simple compass pointing towards the north. Let's place a wire perpendicular to the plane on which the compass is placed. We see that as soon as the current starts flowing through the wire, orientation of the compass needle changes from the north and points towards the different directions and different positions. Let's understand the reason behind this deflection. When current starts flowing in the wire, it sets up a magnetic field around it, due to which the compass needle points in the direction of the magnetic field induced by the current. This induced magnetic field is not like the conventional field of a normal magnet having the north and south poles. Rather, it is circular. And as soon as the current is removed, the magnetic field also disappears. This observation was first made by Hans Christian Ostad in 1820. He concluded that electric current flowing through a wire creates a magnetic field and forms the basis for the principle of working of most motors. Later on, experiments also showed that a current is induced in a loop of wire when the wire is moved towards or away from the magnetic field or when the magnetic field is moved towards or away from the wire. This relationship between electricity and magnetism was explained later by English physicist Michael Faraday. He formulated the Faraday's Law of Electromagnetic Induction, which states that if magnetic fields are changed through a loop of wire, then electric current will be produced within the wire. All these ideas were put together by James Clerk Maxwell. He proposed that if a changing magnetic field can create an electric field, then a changing electric field should also create a magnetic field. Finally, he proposed that changing electric and magnetic fields should trigger each other. And these changing fields move at a speed equal to the speed of light. To conclude this line of reasoning, Maxwell said that light is an electromagnetic wave which is composed of two fields oscillating at right angles and inducing one another through space. In order to explain the relationship between the properties of electric and magnetic fields, Maxwell derived the following equation. This equation reveals the properties of electric and magnetic field. Any change in an electric field will result in the formation of a magnetic field. And the changing magnetic field will yield electric field. Although electricity and magnetism are not the same, but they are intertwined in an intimate manner. This phenomenon of electricity producing magnetism and the change in magnetic field inducing electricity forms the basis of the working principle of various useful instruments and machines like motors and generators. The relationship between electricity and magnetism is intimate. A changing magnetic field creates an electrical field and a changing electrical field creates a magnetic field. Related term is 